storytelling. Like I said, you're fabulous people. You're family docs. You do great work for your patients and for your community. How can you leverage that story? How can you tell people how great you are without, I think someone in a previous lecture said, you know, coming off as desperate or, or um, just not communicating clearly? How can you leverage storytelling? So let me introduce you to my friend Mario. Mario is a great guy, right? And he's, he is on a mission, and he wants to save, I think he said the princess or something like that. Who, who here knows Mario? He feels kind of small in a big world, and he knows that there's something out there that can help him get there, but he can't really put his finger on what it is. And he knows he can be big and strong and fire-breathing, and, and that can help him save the princess or reach his ultimate goal, right? This is, this is what he wants to be. This is what the, the self he imagines for himself, right? So a lot of people make the mistake of selling people your product, and that is not what you sell. You don't sell your product. This is not what your business sells. You don't sell wholesale meds and at cost labs and 24-7 access. You sell fire-breathing Mario. You sell the awesome person who can do rad stuff, right? And, and I'm going to take you back to lectures. Remember that lecture with Vance and Nick and, and Rubicon consults and that video they made, right? Who's the hero in the story? The patient. The patient is the hero because now she no longer has this thing on her nose. The product empowered that process, but the hero is the patient. I love you guys. You're all awesome. You're not the heroes right now, not in this context. Your patients are the heroes because now they can do rad stuff, right? So how do you discover this rad stuff? And this is a little bit of a process, but number one, take your existing customers and invite them outside of your office. Take them to coffee, neutral. You know, this, you don't have the power in this relationship. They do. And ask them, Ask them about your product. Tell them, what does the product mean to you? What was your life like before you had the product? And what's your life like now after the product? And here's the kicker. What did that mean to you, right? And then you can start crafting stories around what this means to your patient, okay? So let's go back to Mario. Hi, I'm Mario. And before I had the power of the flower, I was small. Now I feel like I'm in control of my own destiny and perhaps I can go off and save the princess. And, and this is from Nick. I saw this on Facebook when I was putting this presentation together. It's subtle, but it's there. Patient overheard leaving my office today. You make this so easy. Ask yourself the last time you felt like saying that while leaving your doctor's office, right? Here's the patient, they're the hero, and they're saying, this simplifies my life. This isn't a perfect example, but it's pretty close to the truth. How can you leverage the stories of your patients to tell other patients, other customers like them about your product?